Hey, you guys. Welcome back to our channel. First, I want to say thank you for taking the time to subscribe to our channel and watch our videos. We really, really, really hope these videos are helpful to some of you guys, if not all of you guys. You guys, today's video come from a lot of questions that was asked through our um, Instagram about how to attach elastic. So, you guys, this elastic right here came from a shoulder strap bag, how we're going to turn the elastic from a shoulder strap bag into an outfit. So everything is kind of pre-cut already, you guys. That way the video won't be super, super long and not helpful. So as you see, we have the bikini top, we have the straps, and we have the thong. And here go the trim. And we are working on... A Singer Classic, which I normally work on a Singer Heavy Duty or a Classic, either or. And in our background, we have the baby lock, of course. But we're not searching anything today. So, with that being said, you guys, let's start our video. Let me post, put you up right here. Let me, let me bring it up just a little bit higher. Okay. Here we go. So we're gonna start with. Hopefully, I can see. Me. Make sure you can see me. It looks a little crazy in my background. Let me up it just a little bit. Yeah, I'm never prepared. Don't judge me. I'm trying. I'm trying. Yeah. Oh no, that's not for that. Yeah, I'm trying to work this new thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so y'all be able to see it. Hopefully y'all can see me. If not, as long as you can see the product, that's all that matters. So you guys, this is the first bikini top. I'm going to start. When you're doing fishnet, make sure you're doing it on the proper side. So this is the outside. This is the inside. You can kind of see it. Outside, inside. So when we're stitching, I'm not going to show you my technique about trimming. But anyway, when we're stitching, we're going to start from the top. I always leave some up to where I have attachment room. So... We're about to time ourselves. It's 210. I'm gonna try to explain and go at the same time to show y'all how quick you can make this style outfit. pull on my elastic a little bit that way it won't be baggy and poofy and I cut all my strings right then in there that way I won't have to go back and do it so we got that one side done now we're about to do the other side and like I said I get I leave um, connecting on if you guys want to know how to make your trim look a lot neater we do have classes that are $25 it's a trim only class or if it's a certain thing that you need to improve our classes are only $25 for just that exact improvement whatever it is that you just need to improve but we also do sewing classes virtual and in person the sewing classes are $200 for two hours um, we do virtual, like I said. We do it versus face, FaceTime, our um, IG message, Facebook messaging, whatever you basically need, like wh whichever platform you you have. Um, so this is me. You guys, if you could see, the trim is like super nice. 
This is the inside. I'm going to go back and cut all the other stuff off. But right now, we're about to finish our trim. That way we got everything trimmed. Second one's done. Now we're left to get to the thong. And when I do the thong, you see how I've done this side? I connect from the bottom. That's why I leave the room to connect. I call it connecting room. And then I start from that part. cut off all the excess when you're cutting off all the excess go from the inside to where you can see what you're doing like if you can't see what you're doing you can accidentally cut a hole in your material because you're doing it the opposite way so do it to where you can see because i cut a hole yesterday y'all i made an outfit it was terrible I try to do a zipper. I haven't done a zipper in a long time, so I got to practice on a zipper to where I can master that part of it. But it was bad, y'all. You know? The zipper was crooked. My outfit was like short. It was for a shorter girl. Definitely not for me. Okay, so here's the important part. I'm done with doing all of that. You see it? So this is the band that came off of the um the purse so what i normally do is i turn it inside out face to face so you guys if you have any purses laying around you can definitely definitely make something out of it 
So you guys, I'll go to an angle. You see how this angle? I'm gonna go straight down and I'm gonna do it with a straight stitch. You see it? Straight stitch. And I'm gonna go straight down to an angle, but I'm gonna hold it on top of each other so it won't slide off. You see how I'm going to a straight stitch? No, I'm trying to hold the phone and do it, so this might not work out perfect. But let me try to prop it right here. You see it? So I went to an angle, so I'm going to turn it around. I could reverse it, but because I'm holding the phone, you guys see how it went to a corner? When it goes to a corner like that, it causes it to give it that look like that. So if you ever wonder what gives it that look, it's, it's going to an angle. And then you got to go over it like a few more times. So I'm going to have to go over this like a few more times. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But that's how you get that corner, that angle. You know how the purses have the little straps? So, yeah, y'all yeah, yeah. see this part right here? That's what makes the diamond. So I'm showing them how to do the diamond shape because a lot of people don't know how to do it. Oh, you want a class? No, I'm doing a YouTube right now. So you're on my YouTube. Yay! Oh, show on YouTube. Yeah. See it? See me, mama? Okay, yeah. So that gave it the diamond shape. So what I did, I put it face to face onto it. You see it right here? So I did it face to face, and then now I'm going to lift it up, and I'm going to just go straight down to lock it to this part. So it's connected to it. This part is connected to it now. Now, what I do, I do it this way. So, I lay it down. Like the best way is to lay it flat in front of you. Lay it flat in front of you. And then. So this is how you do it. Like, look, let me show you. So you see how I laid it down to make it even across the top? So let me show y'all. So I open it up. Like, you see how it's even like that? So what I do, I put this on top of it. And then I just do a straight stitch straight across. And then I connect it together. So we're about to do that part right now. Let me make sure y'all can see me. You can't see me? Okay. So I'll go from this part because I already measured it. I'll go from this part and put it right here. Yeah, 
So you can do straight stitch or you can do zigzag. I'm gonna do zigzag. That way I can lock it to it. So y'all see it? So I'm just gonna do a zigzag straight across to connect this piece to this piece and then we're done. I'm gonna show you how quick it is, look. Done. But let me tell you what I do. The reason why I go over it a few times, I don't want my outfits to come apart. I don't want somebody to buy something and it don't last a long time. So like a lot of y'all might buy cheap clothes and wonder why it fall apart. I can leave it like this and it's done. But I rather take the time and go over it a few times. That way I know for sure it won't come undone. And I'm, I'm reversing on the edges because if you lock the edges, no matter what, they won't come undone. So I just went back and forth over like maybe four times. But I know it won't come undone. So somebody won't be like, oh, my outfit fell apart. No. It did not fall apart from my stuff. So I went over it a few times, which didn't take no extra time, really. But to make sure that your outfit lasts and your customers are happy, I went over it. So it's done. And these look big. They're not big. Trust me, they're not big. The elastic can stretch bigger, but the elastic will sit right up against you. But the top, the bottom's done. So, now let's do the top. So, the top, like I said, I laid it out already. So, I laid it out. Y'all see how I laid it out? Oh, sorry. Y'all see how I laid it out? So, now all I'm getting ready to do is start from there. I'm going to start from here because my sewing machine goes up forward. So I'm going to start it from right here. Like once I sit it on her, it's important to sit it on her so it'll be even. So look. <laughs> so look. I already set it on her. So like I said on the edge, lock it. So I, I know 100% for sure I lost the edge. So now I'm just going to show you And when I get to this part, when I get to that part, that's when I bring this and I put it on top of here and I connect it. It's connected. So now I'm getting ready to go in. You see the inside, how these parts are still like that? Remember, I told y'all to do it looking at it to where you can see it. Because if you do it the opposite way, like do it away from it and you don't see it, you can cut a hole in your outfit like I did yesterday.
almost done. So, with this part, there's different ways that you can do it. Wait a minute. I had that. <laughs> Yeah, there's different ways that you can do it. You can tie it, you can fold it over and put a string through it. Me, what I like to do is, I like to add a piece to it. Like let's say we're gonna add these two pieces on each side. In order to make the pieces even, you measure it right then and there, and then you just do it like this. That way you know 100% sure they're both even. So you fold it. You fold it, and you put it up against it face to face. And you do a straight stitch directly across. Yeah, but it's face to face, remember. Straight stitch. After you do the straight stitch, you see it? Cut off the remaining right here. That way you can fold it back and put it up against it. And straight stitch again to where it's landed flat up against it. Cut off all your strings. So it won't look tacky. All my strings are gone. Then cut off the end piece and then pull it. You pull it, it'll ribble up. Don't pull it before. Pull it after you attach it. Because once it ribble up, you can't take it apart and knot it at the bottom. You see the bikini top? We got one more to do, and then we're done. We have the same piece. We're going to fold it in half. We're gonna do face to face, like I showed y'all, face to face, straight stitch, straight across. You guys, we are um, planning a sewing retreat. It's gonna be super dope. We're gonna stay up all night and sew. We're gonna network with each other. We're gonna relax, we're gonna eat, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna exchange contacts. We're gonna meet new friends. We're gonna sew until we fall asleep. It's gonna be dope. So if you're interested in it, definitely DM us on Instagram on the Hidden Agenda brand. You guys see, it's done. So the outfit is complete. Oh no, it's not complete. Wait, let me show you the back. We didn't do the bottom. Knot it at the bottom. You can pull them more. And this, you can either make it a band. I will make, I'm just going to make it a band to make it something simple. So when you're closing it, do face to face, straight stitch in the back. Because this stretches either way. So it can fit a little person or a wider back person. It don't matter. Let me call you as soon as I get off this YouTube video. I'm doing a YouTube video right now on the phone. I'll call you right back. Right. Yeah, I'm going to call you right back. See it? I, I did it face to face. So now when I open it up, it looks like this. So I can take and I can do a straight stitch straight down here from the front. That way it'll flatten it out. <laughs> And then let me show y'all your outfit. It is complete. Baby, where are you? Okay, it's complete, y'all. Yeah. I don't know how, how much time that was, but let me show you. So look, this is how the outfit looks. Oh, let me raise it up so you guys can see. Okay, you can see. So look, here's the outfit. 
and you can easily sell this for $65 because you can do it straight up like this. So it looks like this. And here's the back. You see the back? So you can do the top like this, or you can crisscross the top. And pull your boobies down. Oh, we gotta flatten this one. Wait a minute, let me flatten this first. You see it? You see it? So you can crisscross it. Where the hell? Oh. You can crisscross it like this and do it, or you can do it straight up. And here's the outfit. So, you guys, if this video was informational, the least you can do is like the video. Like, comment, tell me what you think, tell me another video idea that you need, and I'm here to help you. And remember, if you guys want sewing lessons, we offer them virtual and in person. In person is in Charlotte, North Carolina. And virtual, you could be anywhere in the world. Girl, we could get this done. I could show you how to make some money. You can make $65 super, super fast. And don't forget to go to our Instagram. My Instagram is under Hidden Agenda Brand. My personal Instagram is under who is Candice, C-A-N-D-I-C-E, Rose, R-H-O-D-E-S. And with that being said, thank y'all. I hope y'all really enjoyed the video. And I hope some of y'all that want to make some money, get y'all booking class. I mean, go ahead and book y'all sewing class. Until next time.